Hi everyone, welcome to Edupedia World. This is Varun Ganga. Guys, in the last session we have seen many examples regarding Nikhilam Sutra in finding the squares when the given number is more than the base and also less than the base. And now in this session we are going to have a look of one example in which the answer is brought by using both the ways of Nikhilam Sutra that is when the given number is more than the base and also less than the base. Now let us have a look of the example. The example that I am going to take in this session is 97 square. So guys, here to find the square of a two digit number, we usually follow the following four steps. The first step, what we are going to do here is, we are going to find the nearest base to the given number that is 97. And the nearest base to the given number 97 is 90. Coming to step number 2, here the number 97 is 7 more than the base 90. So what we have to do here is, we have to increase 97 by 7. So by adding 97 plus 7, we will get the sum as 104. And now what we have to do here is, we have to multiply the sum 104 with the number 9 by ignoring the zeros of the base 90. So by multiplying 104 with 9, we will get the product as 936. And we have to take this as left part of the answer. Moving to step number 3. Now, we have to square the surplus what we have got. Here, the surplus what we have got is 7 and by squaring the number 7, we will get 49 as the answer and we have to take this as right part of the answer. Moving finally to step number 4, if we observe the left part what we have got here is 936 and the right part what we have got is 49. Since the right part that is 49, it is a two digit number and the number of zeros in the base is only 1. So here, the number of digits in the right part and the number of zeros in the base are not equal. So what I am going to do here is, I am going to take the tens place of the right part of the answer that is 49, that is 4 and I am going to add this 4 to 936. So by adding 936 with the number 4, I am going to get the sum as 940. Now, by just combining both the parts that is 940 and 9, we will get the final answer as 9409 and therefore we can say that 97 square is equals to 9409. So guys, this is the way in which the Nikulam Sutra can be used in finding the squares when the given number is more than the base. Now let us see the same example in which we can use Nikulam Sutra in finding the square when the given number is less than the base. So guys, usually we use the following four steps in order to find the square of a given number by using Nikhilam Sutra when the number is less or more than the base. The first step what we have to do here is, we have to find the nearest base to the given number that is 97 and the nearest base to the given number 97 is 100. Here the number 97 is 3 less than the base 100. So what we have to do here is, we have to decrease the number 97 by 3. So by subtracting 97 with the 3, we will get the difference as 94. And now by ignoring the zeros in the base, we have to multiply the difference that is 94 with the number 1. By multiplying 94 with the number 1, we will get 94 as it is. And we have to take this as left part of the answer. Moving further to step number 3, here we have to square the deficiency what we have got. And the deficiency what we have got here is 3 and by squaring the number 3 we will get 9 as the answer and we have to take this as right part of the answer. And finally coming to step number 4, now if you observe the left part what we have got is 94 and the right part what we have got is 9. Since here the 9 it is a single digit number and the number of zeros in the base are 2. So therefore here the number of digits in the right part and the number of zeros in the base are not equal. So in order to make them equal, I am going to place 0 in front of the right part of the answer that is 9 and I will get as 0 9. Now by just combining both the parts that is 94 and 0 9, I am going to get the final answer as 9409. So therefore we can say that 97 square is equal to 9409. So guys, this is the way how we can use Nikhilam Sutra in finding the squares when the given number is less than the base. 
So guys, I hope that you have understood pretty well how to use this Niklam Sutra when the given number is less or more than the base. I hope that you have enjoyed the class very well and in the next session, we will be having a new concept. And now, for watching this video, thank you, have a nice day.